patriarchy's done it again. We're finally making some progress. We're finally learning about the relationships that estrogen and our menstrual cycles have and what happens during perimenopause on our ADHD symptom. We could attribute being underdiagnosed to things like internalizing symptoms or the possibility of having symptoms like emotional dysregulation that are related to estrogen, which we will talk about in a minute, or the male-centric presentation of the idea of ADHD, aka a hyperactive little boy running around. But also we've historically been overdiagnosed with things like anxiety and depression before getting our ADHD treated. ADHD symptoms might be better masked in women until they go through something like perimenopause that completely dysregulates their capacity for masking that they developed for their whole life. Estrogen has an influence on serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. In animal studies, there's evidence to support that estrogen can help stimulate the forming of synapses between two neurons, aka the way our neurons talk to each other, and it can improve the functioning of our brain and our capacity to think. This really interesting study showed that people who had their ovaries taken out had had a decline in cognition over the next six months. Estrogen has been shown to directly have an effect on dopamine production and dopamine hangs out longer at the synapse. And dopamine is good. We know this. When you're ADHD, that's why we crave it so much, these little quick hits like scrolling. What happens when we go through something like a monthly menstrual cycle is we have fluctuations in estrogen. And when we go through things like postpartum period or perimenopause, we have a massive decline. It's not necessarily being at that lower level, but the drop in level that you really feel. Think about being on a roller coaster where you accelerate really quickly. That's where you feel the most of the rush. The news is we're learning so much more and we're learning about how to treat it too, which is one of the reasons why I tend to not be too afraid of referring my patients for things like hormone replacement therapy if they're experiencing really severe symptoms from their perimenopause. Share this with your friends or anyone who you know might be interested and follow me if you like more ADHD information.